You mentioned glycemically favorable foods. So can you give us just a little short example of like description of what are glycemically favorable foods? Right. In other words, certain plant foods are not glycemically favorable and certain plant foods are glycemically favorable. And the word glycemic, it means how rapidly the glucose enters the bloodstream. Not how much glucose is in the food, but how rapidly it enters the bloodstream. So for example, I could take a bean that has a, a serving of beans with 200 calories of carbohydrate in it. But because the beans are mostly full of resistant starch and slowly digestible starches, those 200 calories, those 200 carbohydrate calories will feed into the bloodstream over a period of hours. And because you're only getting a few calories coming in every minute, you don't have to produce much insulin to, to metabolize it. The insulin needs are low. So when you eat green vegetables, even when you eat certain fruits, berries and citrus fruits, you know, and, um, and apples because the pectin's involved, and when you eat certain foods, blueberries, for example, but certainly green vegetables, most squashes, um, beans and um, peppers and onions and mushrooms and pepper, you know. So when you eat these foods, the amount of glucose entering the bloodstream in that first 30 minutes after consuming the food is, not, is, is relatively a relatively small amount compared to the total amount of calories in that food. Whereas if I eat white potato, white rice, honey, maple syrup, sugar, you know, um, what are some high glycemic carbohydrates? It's mostly processed foods, right? It's mostly processed carbohydrates because they're ground down into a fine pastry flour-like consistency. Even whole wheat pastry flour, it's whole wheat, but they grind it to such a fine grind that it makes it more glycemically unfavorable. But what we're saying here today is how you can make that food that's moderately glycemically unfavorable like white rice and turn it into a food that's very glycemically unfavorable is add some oil on it or mix it with meat. Because the more you mix it with meat and oil or cheese, the more glycemically unfavorable it's gonna become because then you have hormonal, then you have these hormones working, these hormones working synergistically in a negative way.